It's called Life as a Book. The most classical way to start a book is in the beginning because the way she wanted to start her book was from the start because the end seemed to give a dark feature. She loved books because it was a mixture of her two favorite things, writing and imagination. She picked up the book and began. Pages go one by one and she gets bored. She gets bored for nothing is happening. Chapters go on and the book ends. She's yet not satisfied for the end gave a surprise because life is a book. The whole book is one year of your life. The chapters are months. The pages seem like days. And the way you seem bored, it doesn't mean you still turn the page. It may not mean you put the book down. It may not mean the story ends. But excuse me, friend, your story ended so soon. I could not turn the page. There was no other book in the series. And that was the reason she read the next book. And the next book gave a turn for her life, took a flip upside down. The pages were ripped, some not even there, but she kept on reading because there was action to keep the story going, plus you're sad if the story ends. Life is a book. Untouched if the cover does not interest you. Put down if it gets boring. Praise if there's more going on. Forgotten, no one knows who wrote it. There are books out there some people haven't even touched. The inside is like melted gold, but the outside is like mud. No one dares to read her book, but she reads others for what she is supposed to write in hers. But hers is empty. She's starting anew. She's writing her own story because her life is a book, and she didn't want people to read her story.